Hey friends, and welcome to a rainy day in my life. So my day usually starts at four when Brad leaves and I just watch YouTube or TikTok or do some other things until Harley, our puppy, wakes up. This is usually around 6.30. I let her out to go to the bathroom, give her some food, and I usually have my second cup of coffee because I have one when Brad first leaves and then I'll wait for this one to do my cozy morning routine, which is light my guest fireplace, which is so fun, and do my Bible study. So for this full year, I've been reading through the Paul Tripp's New Morning Mercies. I found it at Hobby Lobby or Amazon. It is a great one. It could be very quick, just what you need for the day, um, or you can dive into the scripture that's suggested and really like go through commentaries and all those kinds of things and make a more of a, a study out of it. So I really do like this. I'm going to be switching it up for this coming year, but I'm sure I will come back to this in years to come. So I do really like it. So then after my Bible, I have a five-year prayer journal that I got from Hosea Revival last Christmas. And I have been faithful to write in it every day. So I think this is just a really cool thing that I will get to look back on and see what I was struggling with or what joys I had through the next five years. So that's one of my favorite things I get to do in the morning. And then little cute puppy, I have to give her these or she will be chewing at all my books and all those things. And some quick little snuggles of this little wiry ball of fire. And then we are going to do my nutrition tracker or activity tracker. I'm not sure what you call this, but it's a ha happy planner fitness planner. That's what you call it. So I log my food in here, if I've worked out, what I did for my workout. And then this is my daily grind planner. I will link the channel and who you get this from down below. And don't pay attention, I totally wrote oh, the wrong date on here. So just ignore that. <laughs> it was, um, I caught it later on. But this is a great one to like really go after goals and figure out like bite-sized ways to do that. Then I usually light a candle, and this is a new one I got from Tractor Supply. I'm it, I'm literally obsessed with everything gingerbread, and I'm so glad that it's like trending this year so I could find it a little bit easier, but gingerbread has to be my favorite scent, I think. And then I have really been getting back into reading, reading nonfiction books and so this was Agatha Christie's and then there were none I would give it five stars you guys I am so good at figuring out plots and twists I didn't see this one coming that's why she's the master and then I have to make my bed I am not one who can leave my bed unmade if that's you I'm so happy for you but it just makes me stressed out and this is like I can come in my room and it's clean plus my bed's kind of the only thing I've gotten to decorate and love um, in my house right now and then I make the kids some breakfast today they were just gonna have some egos and apples and this is usually around 9 my kids really sleep in so I have a good chunk in the morning to myself to do all my things that I love to do to just really center myself before I have to be present and momming for the rest of the day yes don't mind my outfit, I was freezing and this was the warmest cardigan I had out. <laughs> so I really need a robe. So this is everyone's breakfast and then I chug water. So by this point in the morning, I am just about done with half a gallon of water. Um, I shoot for a gallon of water every day and I measure it with that um, hydro jug. We watched A Boy Called Christmas as our first Christmas movie. It was so good, I highly recommend. I think it's on Netflix. And then I take a shower and get ready. These are some of my products that I use every day that I just am loving at the moment. And just today was a rainy day, so I got a cozy outfit on. And we do homeschool. We had thought we were gonna do traditional school when we moved. It's turning out to not be what we're doing right now so I went ahead and got the homeschool stuff out but then Harley had to go to the bathroom in the rain so yes big umbrella for the win take the puppy out and let her do her thing come on Harley go potty it's raining <laughs> and then we come back in and get school started I always put on like ambient music this day I chose Disney's 
Now we use the Good and the Beautiful um, curriculum. And right now I have everyone working at the same level due to some learning delays and different things. Um, but we will be changing that up after Christmas break. So this is the kids working together. And since it was a rainy day, it had to be a bread and soup day. So I'm gonna make some bread. I will link the video for my bread recipe that I use weekly <clears throat> down below. It's so easy. Um, it just uses traditional yeast instead of sourdough. So if you don't have time to do the 24 hour ferment, you could do this bread in like three hours with the rice. So it's a good easy recipe for on a whim bread making. And for lunch, we had some tuna and crackers. Um, that's me sneaking a pickle. I literally love pickles and I love pickles in my tuna. I know not everybody does, but that's what I like. And mustard, it has to have some mustard. Tell me how you make your tuna. And since it was a day where the kids could not go out and play because it rained literally all day, we have been going through the Harry Potter series since I think October. I'm um, just re-watching all the movies and so we were watching the movie enjoying the rain it's so pretty I am so excited and yes look at that bad boy um, by this point Brad had already been home he gets home from work around 4 o'clock and we usually eat dinner around 5 5 30 so I was kind of anxious I shouldn't have cut the bread open already as you can see by all that steam releasing um, but we just did some pasta because I could not find the soup that I wanted to make so we made some pasta and my yummy crunchy crusty bread and we ate dinner as a family we do this at least five nights a week to sit at the table and eat dinner together and then we had no bread like sandwich bread mm -hmm. so I made Brad a tuna sandwich on some homemade bread oh my gosh it looked so amazing this is for his lunch tomorrow um, yes I pack his lunch at night I feel like he works hard for me and I can do this little thing to help him have a good day um, but look at that oh my gosh and then I prep the coffee for the next morning because we get up so early that is just one little thing to do and then the kids are free <laughs> they get to go do what they want to do and then Brad and I usually watch a show <laughs> he won't let me walk by the couch without snagging some kisses so quick cuddle and kisses for him and then we have been watching Manifest. We actually have finished it at this point. Um, let me know if you've watched it and what you think. I have some thoughts on that last season but I'm the kind that if I start something I have to finish it. So I had to finish it but I did like the first season. So this is usually our night. We're usually in bed by 9 since we get up so early. So the evenings Brad and I watch shows, the kids are usually playing their games or talking on FaceTime with their friends from California and Harley is being managed by us and this is it, my cozy little day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in our next video. Good night!